It would be fair to say that for most of the country, Arizona State is an unknown quantity. Tucked away outside of Phoenix, the Sun Devils have searched for national identity. One of the problems is, located out here in the desert, Arizona State doesn't get a lot of national publicity. But make no mistake about it, this program is big time all the way. They have produced athletes like Reggie Jackson, John Jefferson, Danny White, and Mike Haynes. But part of Arizona State's identity crisis comes from the fact that they've never played in the Rose Bowl. They've come close before, awfully close, but never as close as a year ago. And Rapforce looking. He's going to be sacked back at the 22-yard line. And Arizona has recovered the fumble. With that critical turnover a year ago, Arizona State's dreams of reaching the Rose Bowl had once again slipped away in the final few moments of the season. It was a play that would haunt Van Rapphorst and his teammates. The last play, you know, I'm back to pass and I was trying to throw the ball, got my arm hit. And they ruled it a fumble because I was, you know, I was pulling down, resetting. Um, I think that's one thing that really drove us through the summer. It was, you know, it was a real thorn in our side to get so close and not make the Rose Bowl and then having to watch, you know, as used to play on the Rose Bowl last year, it was really frustrating. And that's one thing that really helped out, um, gave us momentum and it gave us a lot of desire through the last year. For Coach John Cooper and his Sun Devils, memories of 1985 were key to this year's success. But it's doubtful Arizona State would be in the Rose Bowl without the emergence of the offensive line. Nicknamed the homeboy, because they all grew up in Arizona, many feel they are the best line in the country. They're big, they're strong, you know, they hit real hard, and they're just, you know, they make it easy for me to play behind them. We played together in all-star games in high school, and we played against each other in high school, and we know what, like I said, what we're made out of and who we are. Now back for a moment to Arizona State's identity crisis. It is a little bit ironic that these days Arizona State Stadium is getting a little more attention than Arizona State's football team. Of course, they play their home games here at Sun Devil Stadium where tomorrow they'll play the Fiesta Bowl for the national championship. But the Rose Bowl has become Arizona State's true measure of success. And the trip to Pasadena is one that everyone around here is pretty happy about. It's, uh, there's Rose Bowl everywhere. If you go to the bookstore, they have Rose Bowl wine glasses, cups, shot glasses, t-shirts, frisbees, sweatshirts everywhere. Every bit of ASU clothing you can think of. Rose Bowl. Everything is Rose Bowl. I've seen it happen in 1982, 1985. We've blown it. We've lost to U of A. We couldn't go to the Rose Bowl. This year, it didn't matter. We're going to the Rose Bowl. We're there January 1st against Michigan. We're going to win it. This is the first time for ASU. And how important is this game this afternoon to the ASU football program? Well, more people will watch this game than any other game in Arizona State University football history. And we'll return to Pasadena.